Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 Fixie Story Mode Mission Car thing, whatever I'm doing. So today we're going to be doing a Ribson Starline. I would read the description but it's pretty long and basically means I'm probably going to be looking at repairing everything like I did with the last car. And on inspection, yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit broken isn't it? Let's get it inside and have a look at it shall we? Well, dusty is definitely the way forward, isn't it? Okie dokie, jokey, cokey, mokey. Right, so first job then, um, drain all the fluids. As I say in most of my videos, this is the first thing that everyone should be doing. Reason why is just so you don't make a mess, mainly. So yeah, drain out all the fluids, and then we'll get, about, we'll get into the rest of this video. <laughs> That's all the liquids out of the car. Now, this car is split into two major parts. Number one is literally all the body parts. So we're gonna have to take off all of the body parts, go and buy it. It says repair or replace. I still don't, I still can't afford renovate a level six or level three, because it's got the three stars above it. But because I need to be level three up there, I'm literally gonna have to buy all the body parts for this car. So well, let's strip off the car and we'll go into the set. We'll go in and buy the, buy it. Yeah, we're going to buy the whole car. So we're looking at Ribson Starline. So basically everything in the Ribson Starline. Let's, let's go and find all the parts, shall we? And here is every part that we need. So we got to take it all. Okay, so before I get before I get into sort of well, in all fairness, before I get into actually sort of repairing this car, it needs a clean, I think. So that's definitely a before. So the other way to break the rust off, obviously by this point you really do need the welder really helps us put it that way. That's a cool little, I like that. That's pretty fun. Right, okay, cool. No. Okay, so that's all done. Now we've got to put all the body panels back on. Okay, so that's all of the body panels. Let's just get rid of all this. Okay, so because there is so much wrong with this car, like the first list we're done now. All the body panels done, all good. I haven't changed the oil yet because I'm not 100% sure of how much is actually wrong with this car. I'm gonna go through all the diagnosis here. I'm gonna go through all of the scanners just to make sure and then we'll go from there. The one reason why I couldn't do one of the tests is because simply, the battery is dead so we got to take the battery out first get this charged then we can do the other test on the plus side at least we found a part that needs to be replaced now we can do a compression test going by all of those tests then there are certain bits and pieces all over this car that are a little bit sort of like worse for wear but most of the problems are in the engine so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the we're gonna take a look at the back area first I did see that the there is a suspension issue Okay, so the first few things I'm taking off, the wheel bearings and the rear drive axles. So we've done all the we've done all the body. All the body work needs to be replaced. The we've done we haven't done that and we haven't done this, but they're the last things we do. Uh, right. Going by all of the problems I can see, I'm gonna basically assume that everything wrong with this car is in the car. I can't see it being anywhere else it's going to be all engine work and most of it is going to be cruddy things so we've got to take off the whole block and just basically work our way through it I hope I mean maybe one of these might be the oil filter you know actually what we'll do is we'll take off and that doesn't look too bad either 
Well, worst comes to worst, we don't find it all and we'll take those off anyway. So let's start working our way through the engine. As you can see, it is pretty wrecked and ruined. This is probably where most of the problems are. And like I always say, what I'll do is I'll put the list up near the end. Uh, you'll, well, the list will come up every now and then, but you'll see the full parts list at the end. Alright, there we go. Engine head cover. This is knackered. And look how big it is though. And this is the big car. Alright, okay, so we've taken a bit off. Now we get to work our way through the rest of this car. I mean, the fan's pretty much gone as well. I mean, I'm going to take off the main block. And then what we'll do is we'll work our way out. I think this is where all the problems are going to be, personally. I don't see it being anything else, because... I think what the guy was saying was that the guy, he bought this off of a kid and the kid didn't really understand what he had as, as an actual car. So there's a lot here obviously that's just going to be like ragged to death. It's all just bits and pieces of car here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so battery, belt tensioner, camshaft, coils, yeah, coil cover, engine head cover, ignition coils, intake, basically just everything there. So that's page one, and that's page two. All right, everything I'm going to have to replace is now going to be highlighted in blue. So page one, page two, all good. Right, so to put it into perspective, everything. everything that is highlighted in red is everything that needs to be got back onto this car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plough through all of this, add it into the shopping list, and we'll be away with the fairies on this one, I think. Let me just get rid of these bits first. I love this new system. This shopping list system is so much better than like 2018. Let me know in the comment section below if you're if you're actually liking this as well. It just makes shopping so easier in this game. And it's just so much it's just so much better. More fluid and more time to mess around with cars. All good. Right. So what I'll do here is we'll put the filter on and then everything else we can actually drop the car now and that's that's the more exciting part. We can put the car down, which means everything is just in the engine. We don't have to do anything else. And that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to whack it all back together, send it off to the customer, and hopefully the customer will be happy. This is going to be alright. So I'll fast forward this bit. You'll see the progression very, very quickly. And then we'll have a chat and a summary at the end of this. So uh, enjoy the montage and the lovely music that goes in the background. Radio. So that's everything on the list. There you go. Battery belt into camshaft, cores cover A, engine cover B, ign ignition coil, ignition coil, ignition coil, intake manifold, oil filter, power steering pump, and the radiator fan. That's page one. Page two, rear drive axle, rear drive axle, 17 belt B, and that's 16 D O H H C B U T T. Uh, spark plug one, two, three, and four, throttle 16 D O H C, and wheel hub and wheel hub bearing. Okay, that's the whole list. 
There we go. And then obviously all the panel, all the front panels and stuff for the car. And then all we got to do now is put all the liquids back in. So this is the reason why I leave it till the end. It sort of like tops it all off. You've done all the hard work. Now just fill it up with liquid. Make sure the sound doesn't make you want to go to the toilet. And then you can send the car off without having to go to the loop. So you should be all right. But the idea is like this is, I think this is a good way of like almost sandwiching your like workflow. So you take the fluids out to start with. And then you put the fluids back in right at the end of the at the end of the job. So you've got like a start and a finish and everything in between is all to do with the car. And you basically don't finish the car until you have done the fluids. And that's how I've sort of got into this. And actually it's working out quite well. And just the last look, everything done. Everything done. Got the oil in the car. And then there's the last liquid. Ta-da! That's the whole car. And nothing but the car, so I hope you lord. But there you go. Now, obviously, if you have got the paint booth open by this point, which is level 12, carry on, get it all done. Spray this car up and get it cool if you really want to spend that money. If not, then you don't really want to spend that money, do you? So what we do, go through here. There we go. We've done this. Change oil, drain oil, other tasks, 90 credits. Cool. Task bonus, 7 grand. Job bonus, 5 grand. Total payout, 22,500 quid. We're all good. There we are, we got 25 grand up, which means we can now buy an upgrade. We can actually put stuff into our... So, it is tempting to buy the dyno straight up, but I don't really want to do this yet, because I'm not really going to be doing much in the way of, like, customization. So what I might do is I might just buy this, keep 10 grand, and do another car. So I'm going to buy the paint booth, and it's all good. Alright guys, so thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed this video or anything else that I do on this channel, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream or whatever else I do on this channel. Until my next video, guys, it's been awesome to have you here. So peace out, have fun and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye bye for now.